Drying clothes in the winter without a tumble dryer can be a real pain. There are certain things you can do to try and speed things up, such as having the central heating on and placing whatever area you use close to radiators or even draping clothes onto radiators themselves. But what if that makes your home feel untidy? Or what if you actually are trying to limit how much you have the central heating on because of the cost to your energy bill? Maybe it's not quite cold enough for you to have the heating on all day, but you've got a lot of laundry to dry. We are a family of four, and I've really noticed that in the winter months, some things can take a really long time to dry. Heavier things such as towels and heavier jumpers can take several days to air dry. So in my attempts to speed up drying clothes, I have been looking into heated areas for quite some time, and finally I decided to bite the bullet and invest in one. I went for one of Lakeland's Dry Soon heated areas. I got the three tier heated era. So this one is somewhere in the middle of the range. There are three different heated areas. There's a three tier mini, there's the three tier one that I've got here, and then there's a much, much larger version. And they also sell a drying pod as well, which is basically, as it suggests, a big pod with a cover, and then you can hang clothes on the inside of it and zip the cover up. What is a heated era? Well, it looks like any other drying rack that you would use to dry your laundry. However, this one plugs in to the mains and the bars of the era get warm. They don't get quite as hot as our radiators do when we have our heating on on full blast. I can always put my hands on the bar and it's not so hot that it's like uncomfortable. It literally just feels warm. However, that heat speeds up the drying process for your clothes. Now the area that I've got here is quite a decently sized one and what's really good about it is there is some flexibility to how you have the configuration. You can have it out in full with all of the shelves out or you can cut the space that it takes up in half by folding down half of the rack. It's very, very simple to do. All you need to do is unhook the shelves from the supporting arm here tuck them all down and then you fold the arm in and then what you, that gives you is a sort of fairly flat surface that you could push up against a wall and that just makes using it so much easier particularly if you only have a small utility room or maybe you live in a smaller house a smaller flat the fact that you can reduce the size of it I think sort of adds to the flexibility but when it is fully out it is quite large it is quite a large appliance so you are going to need a bit of space for it and um, just to let you know the dimensions it is 73 by 75 by 137 centimeters it does fold all the way down it will always be 137 centimeters in hikes it doesn't then fold down however it folds down to around like eight centimeters in width so hopefully it should be sort of relatively easy to tuck away when you're not using it. When it comes to using it, it is very, very simple. You unfold all of the drying racks and then you plug it into the mains. Unfortunately, one of the biggest downsides of this era is that the plug cable is quite short. I would have liked to have seen a bit of a longer one Chances are you are possibly going to need to use some kind of extension lead with this. It heats up in a matter of minutes. All you need to do is drape your clothes over the different bars. In order to make the most out of your heated era, here are a few tips for speeding up the drying process. You want to spread the clothes out as much as possible. All the heat is coming from the bars. There is a certain amount of residual heat around it, but generally speaking, your clothes are going to dry quickest when they have contact with the heated bars. So as much as you can, spread all of the clothes out so they are laid flat across the bars. Now, Lakeland says that you can dry two loads of laundry at once on this heated era, which is absolutely true. But just note, as soon as you add more laundry to the rack, it means that you cannot spread the laundry out quite as much across the bars. And that does mean that the drying process may be a little bit longer. That drying process, how long that takes, really does depend on what it is you're drying. But generally speaking, with a normal load of, sort of pajamas, tops, school uniform, that kind of stuff, I can expect it to dry in about six to seven hours. Another way to speed up the drying process is to turn the clothes regularly, move them all around. As you can see, when you lift them off the bars, when they've been on there for a little while, you can actually see where the clothes are drying. And it really is the case that they will dry quicker in the areas that have got the direct contact with the bars. So if you can turn the clothes, move them around a bit every now and then, then you are going to speed up that drying process. Now you can add a cover to speed up the process. A cover sort of traps some of the heat inside and can help to really speed up that drying process. The cover is sold separately for this heated era. An alternative is to just drape a bed sheet on the top. At the end of the day, the, the cover is not highly technical or anything. If you drape a large, 
double bed sheet over the top, then that can have a very similar effect. As well as covers, Lakeland sells various other accessories that go with its dry soon range, including this, which is a mesh shelf, which you can place on one of the racks. Now, the idea of that is if you've got delicates to hang, then that can help them to lay flat. And then you've got pegs hanging down here, which you can hang down between the bars. And from those, you can hang things like socks and underwear. So the heated air definitely speeds up the drying process for laundry. But what about the cost? How does the cost of running the heated air stack up against a tumble dryer? So I've based my figures on the latest energy price cap, which comes into effect on January 1st, 2024. Obviously the price cap can vary. Leighton themselves estimate that this drying rack costs around 9p an hour to run. So based on a six hour spell of use to dry a load of laundry, that will cost you 52p in total. Now, as I said, you can put two loads on this. So you could dry two loads for 52p. However, I would say when I have added two loads to this, it has taken a little bit longer, another couple of hours. So you need to take that into account when you're costing it up. Let's compare that cost then to running a tumble dryer. So the cost of running a tumble dryer obviously is massively gonna vary depending on the make, model, and type of tumble dryer you get. So these are very rough costs. However, let's say that a cheap tumble dryer will cost you about 60p per cycle, um, but it can cost as much as £1.40 a cycle if you have a less energy efficient tumble dryer. And it can also obviously cost more if you're having to run the tumble dryer for longer because you're drying particularly damp things or heavier things. It really does depend on what you've got. But even just taking the cheapest option, say around about 60 pence, that does work out cheaper than using the heated air, although it doesn't work out tons cheaper. This heated air cost, I think, 169 pounds and 99 pence. A typical tumble dryer is going to cost you more than that. And an energy efficient one particularly is probably gonna cost you in the range of what, 350 to 450 pounds. However, just to throw another option into the mix that actually works out cheaper than both the heated air and the tumble dryer, dehumidifiers. If you run a dehumidifier next to a drying rack where you've got your laundry, then this can cut the amount of time that it takes to dry the laundry because it is sucking moisture out of the air, circulating air, and that is helping to dry the clothes faster. I have a Miko ABC 10 litre dehumidifier and that costs around five pence an hour to run. Probably takes around six to seven hours to dry the clothes, which is roughly the same as the heated air, but obviously it's a lot cheaper. If you really, really want to turbocharge the process of drying your clothes, and if you're not too worried about the energy cost, then combine running a heated air with a dehumidifier and you are going to cut your drying time even further. What are the pros and cons of this heated air then? Well, on the pros side, it certainly speeds up the drying process. It's very flexible in terms of size. The fact that you can halve the size, that does obviously lose you some drying space, although you can still sort of prop some clothes on the shelves even when you folded them down and those racks will still heat up even when they're folded down. I like that degree of flexibility. It is quite large, so I think smaller homes may struggle with it a little bit. The fact that you can buy a cover to drape over the top if you want to make that investment could make it look a little bit neater if you're having to have it set up in the corner of a home. Another pro is that it looks much neater having your clothes drying on a heated area than having them propped up all over the place on radiators throughout the house. It's just so much more convenient. It's great that you can fit two loads of laundry onto this drying rack, although it has to be said that that can make the drying process take longer because just having more damp clothes together, not being able to spread them out as long, the, the stuff is not gonna dry as quickly. It's easy to fold and easy to move around if you wanna change location. And it folds down nicely for storage. Onto the cons. So one of my main bugbears with it is it's actually quite, it feels quite flimsy. So I'm quite nervous with the kids running around with it in the house because I'm worried that at some point, even though I've told them not to, that if they try to climb it, it feels like it wouldn't take a lot to snap. It just, it's very wobbly as you can see here. And um, yeah, I'm just nervous that um, it does feel a little bit flimsy, but you know, it is a very, very lightweight area. It is very easy to move from room to room and to put away when you want to store it. So 
lightweight is also a plus. I think the biggest con for me is the fact that it doesn't have a timer on it. So unlike my dehumidifier, which I can run on a laundry cycle, which just keeps it on for six hours and then it automatically switches off, this I have to physically switch it off. Now, obviously you can just buy a timed um, plug socket adapter that will switch it off for you, but I just think it's a shame that this one doesn't come with a timer. The Dry Soon Heated Era Deluxe, the model up from this one, does have a timer. And another big con for me is the cost. It is very expensive for what it is, which is basically just a large convenient radiator for hanging clothes on basically. When it comes to weighing up those pros and cons, I think the cost could be a really deciding factor for a lot of people as it is just so expensive for what is just a drying rack. However, it really will save you time in the winter. I was honestly tearing my hair out in winter last year with how long some things were taking to dry. Having this at my disposal to speed up that drying time has been fantastic. What are my overall thoughts then? I'm really glad that I purchased this heated era. It has without a doubt sped up drying time for clothes. When I use it alongside the dehumidifier, it cuts down the drying time even further. Obviously, if you are really, really focused on trying to keep your energy costs down, then it is worth considering the fact that the dehumidifier is going to be cheaper to run by the hour compared to this. Now I'm basing that statement on the specific dehumidifier that I have. It's really worth before you buy anything, just checking what is gonna be the energy consumption of that, what is gonna be the cost of running that before you go ahead and buy. As someone who doesn't have a tumble dryer at the moment, who doesn't have space in their house for a tumble dryer at the moment, it is making drying laundry so much quicker. I'm a busy parent, I'm a working parent, anything that adds to convenience for me, anything that's gonna help me get through drying of clothes so that I can get on with more important things is great for me. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions at all, please just drop them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, bye.